and uh, I think for a long time the media was treating this as a uh, situation in which there was one, there were two sides, uh, but of course, in truth, there really aren't two sides. Uh, when you speak to the scientific community, it's 98, 99 percent of the people who, un who understand what's going on in the climate system who believe that humans have had a great impact. Uh, there was a period in the late, uh, just before 2010, 2012, when in fact it became almost a boring piece of information, uh, in, certainly in parts of this country, for the media uh, to deal with it. It's, uh, but it's always well worth sticking with the media, because the media are the people who actually tell the story. Uh, and I think it's changing dramatically now. Uh, it, it, and one example of this is actually having, having all of you here. There's a tremendous groundswell in this country, uh, in particular in places like Maine, where we are so uh, dependent on our natural environment, uh, to understand what's going on uh, and to try and affect change uh, and ideally vote in the right direction. And this is where the media becomes extremely uh, powerful. And they've done a phenomenal job in, in many ways. Uh, I think that the only negative part of the media is the fact that they haven't provided the full dimension. And I'll go, again, I'll go back to this idea uh, that uh, people, I think, are uh, concerned about two primary things. After you think about your family situation, you're concerned with your health and your wealth. And those are the two things that are greatly impacted by climate change. Uh, wealth, it turns out that uh, the average Mainer spends more than 10% of their salary on energy. Uh, and that's much more than they should have to spend. And there are simple ways to deal with that. Uh, it turns out that our health is impacted. And I already gave some examples there. And it's really encouraging uh, to see not only grassroots organizations talking about this, but to see the media actually beginning to talk about this. And, re and, and the reports that are coming out from the federal government are talking not just about the fact that it'll be warmer, because you can make the case that for some places, warmer is better. But the ultimate result is a tremendous instability in climate, a tremendous change in the quality of life that we have, increase in vector-borne diseases, air pollution, and all of these things. And it's not worth the trade off uh, to have a couple of weeks long, longer summer for a place like Maine, where with a small increase in temperature from the low 70s into the mid 70s, uh, suddenly sends a tremendous uh, it has a tremendous impact on the number of people who go to hospital in the summer uh, as a consequence of heat stroke. And we're only talking about the 70s there. Uh, the work that Sean and I have done demonstrates that in the next couple of decades, uh, we will in fact experience many more days in the 90s. And I'll bet most of the people in this room don't have air, air conditioning. Very few people do. You would never think about having air conditioning. But as of the last two summers, everybody would like to have air conditioning because we have had a few days in the 90s and it's been the evenings that have been the worst and the media to get back to your question the media is exactly the organization that's doing a good job of preventing it, of, of, of presenting this not preventing it, presenting this on, on a day-to-day -day basis um, and, and you know you might you might say well everybody's blaming everything on the climate well Guess what? The weather and the climate is probably the greatest security issue that we currently face. Uh, it is the reason that underpins the Somalian uh, pirates. They could no longer be farmers. It has some impact on underpinning uh, the uh, um, Arab Spring. And you go on and on and on. And if we lived in the Arctic, we would truly understand how much our lives can change. And that isn't to say that our lives will change as much as it has in the Arctic. Uh, but we need the, pr the media to tell us about these things, to travel around the world and give us these examples. So, thank you.